a gangster in the industry, it don't have to be no mafia thing, you ain't talking about that, you're just talking about somebody that was willing to take the risks. My name is Lenore Elfand, I'm one of the co-founders of Empire Cannabis Clubs. And I'm Jonathan Elfand, another of the co-founders, long-term cannabis advocate and uh, OG gangster in the industry, long term, long time. I just got I just got released from a thing, and they had just said that the MRTA was coming about, and uh, we research legislation for most of the states. So he read it multiple times, calls me up, and says, "Hey, read this. I think we can do something here." And me, the chicken that I am, <laughs> was like. I don't know, we read it, we went over it. He said what he saw, and uh, obviously I saw it, but he could probably sell me the Brooklyn Bridge. So I said, let's get the attorney on the phone. This conversation was ongoing for a few weeks, and then Stephen rolled another attorney, Sally Butler. She's got Black's Law, and she's reading word for word for word. And she sits back in her chair, and then she leans forward, and she's like, Jonathan, I think you've got it. And that is how Empire came to be. Um, it was a lot of reading, a lot of studying, uh, back and forth, you know, peppering it off attorneys who, you know, are always no, no, no. You know, you hear people talk about people in the, in the drug trade and stuff like that, and they, they, they put context different than regular business. And in reality, there's much more restrictions and hassles and things you got to get around to make money in the drug trade than there is in legitimate business. 38th and 39th Street, something happened and the street froze over because I think a pipe broke on 39th Street from the freeze and, it, and the whole street was getting ice on it. The fire department has to break into the, it's all closed out, it's a Sunday, no one's there. So they break into the basement and they find they go into one side, black, they can't find the pipes to turn off the water, they go on the other side, boom, holy shit, they came into this. And, uh, and, I, and I had 400 lights going, it was the, and the cops were walking out with plants hanging off their back, walking down the block, they couldn't bust us. Because it's, uh, in New York, the fire department is a government official just like the police, and because they entered without a warrant, they couldn't do anything. But they, but they busted the largest grow room in the United States of America on 38th Street in 1996. My dad was kind of a risk taker. He, I had a, a cousin who was, uh, I heard stories when I was a kid, my cousin was involved with smuggling weed, you know, nothing other than weed. He was fully against everything else, but they brought in like freighter loads of weed, like 20,000 pound loads from Colombia, Thailand loads coming in. I have a, partner I used to be partners with in uh, Santa Rosa, California. She was part of like the Grateful Dead crew and all that. Her and family relatives of mine smuggled boats from Thailand into San Francisco Bay, like 10,000 pounds of Thai, of Thai weed. So I mean, I had a lot of stuff introduced me when I was younger where it influenced a lot. When I was growing weed back in the 90s, I was like with no bullshit, Jay Z, Biggie, and all them, they were buying this stuff called Crippy. That was there was nothing else in the city like that. My Crippy was the only thing here. I want all the licensed places to do well. I like to see everybody make money. Competition is great, but I ain't going nowhere. By the time this turns around, I'll have the biggest footprint and the biggest distribution market in the world, and uh, then we go from there. We see we're, we're spread out through the world. I want to see us continue to thrive and be a part of New York City and not, uh, you know, create this legacy for our families. The industry is great. People are so nice and excited and, you know, we get a lot of brands that are new and are really trying to put their foot in the door. And so you just, there's a lot of momentum in the industry right now.